That was last year's trip to Alaska. And this summer, we're going back. Here's everything that happened this summer so far. We went to the lake a lot. I also hung out with friends. In a month and a half before I take my first steps into college, it's time to have a fun vacation. Look at the passion, the drive. After they lost, uh, after they lost contact with their assailant, yes, they had to come out. Yeah, he's, he's here to fix the problems that everyone has. The problems of the heart. Yes. Now you're screwed. He's 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 forklift certified and your therapist. The complete package. Yeah. All right. Say goodbye. I salute you, sir. That is Lumen Fee. Oh. Okay, maybe that's not a That's the soccer stadium, and then that's well, that's the baseball stadium. Oh, well, not the soccer stadium. Well, shh. This place is absolutely gorgeous. We were here last year, but it was really cloudy. Um, but today it's gonna get up to 80 degrees and we're gonna do the Space Needle again. I kind of wanted to do that. And then we're also gonna do a harbor boat tour. We're embarking on a seven day cruise to Alaska out of Vancouver. And tonight we're taking a train to Vancouver. And so we'll see how that works. And I'm going with my family, my dad and my grandparents and also um, my dad's kind of work family. Um, and you'll see all those people throughout, but I don't know if they'll be in it a ton. So, um, yeah. You ever look at me and see another man? Very nearly lost my ticket. And this time, Sometimes it feels as though I have a key. Behind the Seattle Center campus, you can see Elliott Bay, part of the greater Puget Sound. We hope you have a great time with Tom today and enjoy the view. Seattle, you've got to love the rain. Our boat. Now it's looking like a dream shut down. The World's Fair brought us everything from the Space Needle, actually the Lock Screw, the Screw started back before the World's Fair. New 59 in Seattle. Now it's something that we don't discuss. Way off and spotted. The other best thing I have in here. Stay with me, baby. I kind of look back on my Israel, like back in Oxford. They get to Seattle. You've got to love the rain.
Union. Heather, what are your pre-train expectations? Corn. Corn? Do you want corn? What? What? I'm not taking any further questions. On Thank on you. the cob? Thank you. I appreciate it. Canned? I'm coming out today, but I will not be taking any more questions. <laughs> My statement spoke for itself. Corn. <laughs> See his hand dangling underneath the thing. Wow. Wow. Two pounds you know under. You had shit in there. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> he got his custom Oreos. Because I sent her a message, I'm like, Heather, I need pictures of Alan. And she goes, I got a file of that whole <laughs> Of course she does. <laughs> Today was really fun. Uh, it was kind of all over the place with the stuff I did. I mean, we boarded the ship was the main thing. Um, and then after that, uh, explored the ship, saw my way around, and then, um, basically had dinner and um austin got us these delicious and amazing custom oreos and i'm about to eat one of mm. Mm. so we're up and about 
new day here and uh, it's Sunday July 16th we are right here on our way to Juno although we're gonna go through Tracy Arm first and today not really a lot on the calendar um, this is gonna be the view for most of today so definitely more inside the ship today um, and we're gonna go to a couple of nature lectures and yeah that's the sound of the deep ocean that's what a man named Frank Wellington heard in the 1960s when he was an engineer for the U.S. Navy. I know, there's no burgers. Come on, one? Yes, hi, my Canadian friend. There's only one burger. Yes, two, three. And all the athletes, they look like this. Ryder, I'm going with mom. Yeah. Okay, I don't like you, so don't come back. <laughs> you, you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, beautiful. There we go. <laughs> no, that's what. That's, that's what I'm saying. If you, when a, you think about time zones, you're thinking about the time right now. Right. It is earlier on the clock. Correct. In the west. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Later on the clock in the east. But in yeah. his mind, he's thinking, <laughs> which is later. <laughs> it's who experienced that time first. <laughs> so he's correct. He's not wrong. But no but one does like that. that. going to Juno today, but I woke up early. It is currently like 6 a.m. and it's that right outside. But um, we're gonna go to the fjord, and then uh, later today at one, we'll be docking in Juno, Alaska, and we will be um, going on a helicopter tour to a glacier, which we will then take an airboat on. So pretty cool. I'm a traveling man, made a lot of stops all over the world, and in every port I own the heart of at least one lovely girl. I've a pretty senorita waiting for me down in old Mexico, and if you're ever in Alaska, stop and see. from? Nashville. Nashville. Tennessee. Boston. Boston. Where you from? Where you from? India. India. Exciting. Yeah, they look, looks like we're going to some contamination zone. Camera. And then you're going to be able to tighten with your seatbelt right here and right here. And then, Albert, you're going to climb on after you get the front seat, first class.
It is currently like 6.20 a.m. and we are inbound to Skagway. So let's go do the dog sledding and uh, train. dogs are a little on the shy side so they may ask you to just bypass a really shy dog to go on to the ones that prefer your attention. So yeah, so we live up here. Uh, we stay up here six days a week. We'll go down for one day, what, 24 to 36 hours, and then we'll flock. So half the first days up to take care of the dogs and the other half will go down. Um, and then we'll be at Bull Crew again. Uh, I've moved up to Alaska in February of this year. I moved up to Fairbanks. Started mushing there at a kennel named Arctic Winter Adventures, doing tours there. And now I'm here at summer camp with the rest of these guys. Some of these dogs here, in fact, most of them have more mushing experience than me. They've been mushing for years. They've been mushing their whole lives. So you're welcome to come on over and get to know the team that's going to be pulling you today. We've got, let's see, 11 happy dogs here. They're all super friendly. So you're welcome to give them lots of love. Pet them on the head, on the butt, on the belly if they let you. I see you guys are uh, some Titans fans, obviously, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. in Nashville. Oh, yeah. Doesn't make me very happy. <laughs> Why, because um, we just got D-Hop? <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? Yes. Oh, God. Now, I'm actually from Baltimore oh. originally. Yeah. So you wanted, wanted, wanted D-Hop. Yeah, me. we wanted D-Hop. We didn't want you guys to have D-Hop, because we'll probably see you uh, in the playoffs. Can we play this year? Probably should knock on wood. We can see you in the playoffs. What are you trying to do? Oh. Yeah, he's a complete goofball. There's his house over there. Obviously, he didn't quite like the architecture, so he added a bit of a bigger arch to his doorway. <laughs> what? You're a tough guy, man. You're a tough guy. You're a tough guy. Hi, spicy tuna roll. Whoa! Oh, right in there. <laughs> He's a sweet So, as you can see, we've got three seats for the four of you. That means that somebody has to stay behind, unfortunately. I'm just kidding. Everybody has a chance to drive this sled if you'd like to. To drive the sled, drive you want to stand here. on your runners. Okay. Hold on to your handlebars nice and tight. That's okay. the most important instruction I've got for you guys. So, do you want to go first for us? Yeah, I'll try. Yeah, everybody has a chance to drive. We'll swap seats. Uh, if you want to sit in the back here. Sit with my son, Robert. Oh, is an off 
to day hey. And you don't have to hide away yeah. You'll be in my boy But for now it's time to run It's time to run Crazy. I was crazy once. I was in a room. A room full of rats. Rats make me crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. And it is my pleasure to help guide you through the day. Share stories of the land and the park. Okay, me and Kelly have decided that we're not gonna we're not messing with this today because we looked on TripAdvisor and Glacier Bay only has an 89% rating. <laughs> So we just want you guys to That's know, 89%. 89. So there's been some negative reviews. There's oh. some real problems with this place. <laughs> <laughs> we just want you to know. <laughs> so folks, today is Glacier Bay. Uh, it is a national park, apparently. I didn't really, I, I think I saw that it was a national park, but I didn't really realize it was a national park. Um, That's the current view. It's pretty amazing. Um, We're coming up on the first glacier in about an hour. I am like... You can't really see. I am so strapped in for this. I have a GoPro, I have a DSLR camera, and I have binoculars because dad forgot his. Um, and I have gloves in my back pocket, so like I'm ready for anything. And I'm ready to go stand out front and get really cold. So yeah. All adventured out. I want chai tea. I mean, all Your dad's not here, Tra Albert. We Again, don't see any of chai tea. Chai is tea. You're saying tea tea. I can say you know tea what, Albert? flavored tea. I would like a chai tea latte ASAP as soon as possible. Lottie. I don't know. A <laughs> ASAP as soon as possible. Okay, I dress appropriately. Hot cocoa. Cheers. Oh, that was smart. I didn't know they had hot cocoa. I want one of those. Do they have just hot cocoa? All right, save our spot. She said, wave again. Oh, kind of burned my tongue. That's the thing I hate about cho hot chocolate is like, if you aren't careful, you can like kill your tongue for a week mm -hmm. if you have it off the bat. So you have to wait. 
I'm glad I brought these gloves. Because it's waterproof. Because they also smell like the dogs. So it's like I can be reminded. One of the puppies, <laughs> one of the puppies was going at it. We we're like, just let him do it. He's so cute. <laughs> We got hot chocolate on the camera and the binoculars. <laughs> binoculars may be out of commission for the moment. Here we go. You know, I would like it to be sunny, but I feel like I'm exploring more right. with the rain and the wind. Hop in yeah. the picture. You feel more. If you went on one of those National Geographic boats. You go right up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, I, I feel like we're on one of those National Geographic. Geographic. Yeah. Right. Well, they, can, they go all over the world, too. Yeah, the they, Antarctic one I've always wanted to do. Antarctic one looks yeah. awesome. I swear I just saw an otter over there. Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> Would like being in the middle of like an ocean this deep like scare you? Yes. Like just being floating like right there? Yes. Even if you had like a life vest? So, I mean, it's, it's just, I don't know what it's called, but there's something, I mean, like, it, 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 there's a fear of just, like, overwhelming size of things. Like, if I was in the, the water and this ship was passing me down, it would, it would scare the bejesus out of me. you did and I'm gonna sit by you at some point and go send me that one send me that one send me that one <laughs> or the scrapbook <laughs> they're all <laughs> come on Ryder come on Ryder come on Ryder you gotta do it come on Ryder come on Ryder come on Ryder come on Oh, you want to take your shirt off? I'm not taking my shirt off. I'll take my shirt off. Lame. Huh? Wait a minute. Ryder just challenged me. He said he'll take his off if I take my own. Lovely lady. I know. It's going to be a pop-up. No, a centerfold. The centerfold comes in. Honestly, yeah, let's go. Here. You hold this oh out. my god. Hold this You're going to? See, Rhoda, no. come on! <laughs> Have you thought of the Men's skin touching other men's skin. Sir, I don't know if you're aware how much. <laughs> she even knows his name. Okay, out. Oh my god. <laughs> Since we got to be oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Sir. 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 Ryder knows how to do it. We gotta do it this way. There we go. Oh 
Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> We're attracting a crowd. <laughs> All right, well, that was something. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a good cheeseburger. If something interesting, like film wise, happens, I'll record it. But I think I'm done filming today. I'm gonna live with well. So, goodbye. We're in Ketchikan, second to last day of the cruise, and we're going to a crab feast. So, let's go. Got the riz of the ocean. <laughs> the riz of the ocean. Yeah. We are like a one big family, and when you step on board as a passenger. We step on board uh, into our lives, not just as a guest, but as one of our family. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest reward for us is to see happy guests and crew, of course, to show all the beautiful places in the world that we visit. I would like to thank you for being here, and I would like to thank you for becoming part of our family. Thank you. But if you close your eyes, does it hurt? If 
you close your eyes Does it all